hard drive health on the first, second, third, fourth monochrome, and fourth photo. For right now, we're just gonna focus on the first, second, and third. The process is extremely similar for both of them. I'm gonna hold down center at both previous track and next track, and you're gonna get into diagnostic mode. You're gonna wanna go all the way to the bottom here, and run HDD scan. Now there's a very simple test. It's going to tell you whether or not the hard drive passed or failed. Unfortunately, don't get any detailed statistics or further information. When researching for this video, a lot of the sources I found claim that it takes a couple minutes or several minutes to complete this test. I've been running about half a dozen iPods on HDD scan for about half an hour, and I've got two finished and the rest of them just kind of stalled out. Be prepared for it to take about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. I do have an example. Here's a terribly low contrast example of a pass screen. A somewhat more reasonable contrast example of a fail screen. All right, so I'll show the process for booting into diagnostic mode on the third gen real quick here. Force restart, hold down previous track, next track, and center select. You're going to be put into diagnostic mode. I want to go all the way to the bottom and run HDD scan. Whoop, HDD scan right there. But yeah, it takes a good 20, 30 minutes, so be prepared, don't freak out. Moving on to the fourth gens, we've got a photo and a monochrome. Can anyone tell the difference? Which one is which? Take your guesses. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see. Got a photo and a monochrome, so I'll, uh, I'll show you the process on both of them. Gonna wanna force restart here. Simply hold down, center select, previous track, and hit play to continue. You're gonna be presented with the diagnostic menu. And finally, we can actually do smart data. So give it a second. Here's our results. So the retracts at the top there, largely meaningless. A tally of how many times the hard drive has been initialized and deinitialized. It certainly can be an indicator for hard drive health. An example scenario, hard drive is initialized, battery is pulled, sudden loss of power. That would be a retract and it could possibly damage the hard drive. Reallocations here, that is what we wanna look at in the pending sectors at the bottom. You want those two to be zero, no more than 20. Anything past 20, you're pushing your luck. When you have a bad sector on the hard drive, it's reallocated to another sector. When it's successfully done, you get a tally on reallocations. When a bad sector is pending reallocation, you get it on pending. Basically, you want both of these as low as possible. Zero is excellent, absolutely excellent. So on the photo here, there is certainly a more robust diagnostic mode. Simply hold center select previous track. And we're in. This is the modern diagnostic mode seen on the fifth, sixth, and seventh generation. And we can run smart data. So you get a little more information on the photos, uh, such as power on hours and start stops. So this hard drive is in excellent health, only 43 power on hours, 29 start stops. Bottom line is the reallocations and the pending sectors. That's what dictates the hard drive's health. Certainly a case could be made for power on hours to dictate some aspects of the health. These hard drives are rated for about 40,000 power on hours, which is give or take five years of constant initialization. And the first gen actually passed. So it's a nice first gen. Cool. Well, hopefully this helps and I'll see you soon.